Hey, what's going on everyone? It is B. Aver here again for another trailer reaction. This one is The Predator, uh, trailer number two. They dropped a teaser trailer that came out not too long ago. I reacted to that. Uh, you can go check that out if you want to. I wasn't that impressed by it, um, but you know, we have this new trailer here. I'm kind of excited. It's being put out by 20th Century Fox, uh, directed by Shane Black. But anyway, let me go ahead and put on these headphones and y'all can stop listening to me talking. Watch me. Watch this trailer. Here we go. Do you know what my job description is? What's up? I'm in acquisitions. I look up and I catch what falls out of the sky. What's on the ship? Hmm. I like that. Tell me about the mission. Did you see anything unusual? It's above our big ring. Do I get a cookie now? <laughs> Look, I get it. Something went down in Mexico. Nobody wants any witnesses. We need to know if you and your man pose a threat. We're rangers. Hey, Baxley, if your mom's vagina were a video game, it'd be rated E for everyone. <laughs> Isn't it posing a threat? <laughs> kind of the fucking point. <laughs> Damn. Predators just don't sit around making hats out of rib cages. They conquered space. But that's not what's on the horizon. Should I be worried? Bradley. I don't even. Is I like think who? you know what who is on the ship. Who versus who? <laughs> oh, what the hell? The ultimate predators. Damn. Light him up! We may die. We're still here. So come and get us, motherfucker. Has evolved. Man, um... That was a lot to take in for me, because... I was sitting there watching it, of course, you just watch, saw me watch it. I'm just thinking like, okay, who who is versus who? Because it just seems like you had so much infighting in between the humans, you know. Before I press play, I'm thinking that it's just going to be easy. Just, you know, the predators are coming through and they're trying to wreck shop and kill all the humans on Earth or turn it into a sport and, you know, just see what they can do as far as executing us in their most... Uh, um, you know, fantastic ways as possible, you know, with all their devices and capabilities and things like that. But it did seem like there was a, a ton of infighting going on. Like, I, I didn't know who was the good guy, who was the bad guy as far as the humans is concerned. Like, at first, I thought it was Sterling K. Brown. Uh, but then I just didn't know who it, who it was. But then all of a sudden, we get this super predator coming out of nowhere that's super duper big um, that even thickens the plot even more. Like, seriously. So, uh, who I, I have it pulled up on IMDb right now. Uh, Shane Black is directing this. Um, he directed Iron Man 3, which was a disappointment to me, at least. Um, he also did Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And I remember in my anticipation of watching Iron Man 3, I, everybody was like, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Da, 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 da. I checked it out. It was a good movie. I do recommend that at least. Um, but we have Olivia Munn in this. Yvonne. Strahovski is Emily. Um, yeah, Keegan uh, Michael Key is in this. Now, I uh, I knew he was in the movie from last time, but we actually got some dialogue from him, and I was very surprised because you know when we, I first heard him in this trailer, he was kind of just seemed like you know hard ass or badass, but then he gave a corny joke, so you know that kind of offset that and just kind of reminded me of the you know the entertainer that he is. Um, and his other forms of entertainment with uh, Jordan Peele. 
But if, let me read the storyline. From the outer reaches of space to the small town streets of suburbia, the hunt comes home. Now the universe's must, most lethal hunters are stronger, smarter, and deadlier than ever before, having genetically upgraded themselves with DNA from other species. When a young boy accidentally triggers their return to Earth, oh Lord, yeah, so that goes back to that what was in the uh, teaser trailer. Um, only a ragtag crew of ex soldiers and a disgruntled science teacher can prevent the end of the human race. Um, that was written by 20th Century Fox. Now, what I do want to know is where does this one take place uh, with the other Predator films? So, you know, we have Halloween coming out later on this year. Uh, but that film was in this year or next year. I believe it's, it has to be this year. Probably Halloween. I'm tripping. Uh, that film is kind of uh, uh, redconning or and getting rid of all the Halloween sequels. So you have the original Halloween 1972, and then this new Halloween is 40 years later, pretending that H2O didn't exist and all the other Halloweens, which I haven't seen. You know, it's so I, I want to know is this Predator movie is this going to take place of uh, Predator 2 uh, that took place in the city or uh, I, I don't know but um, man this is a lot to read right here I, I'm on IMDB I'm on the trivia page and sometimes they reveal this information but I really like this trailer and I want to find out okay the film was really conceived. okay the film was originally conceived as a reboot of the Predator film franchise until Shane Black came aboard and confirmed that he would be making a sequel instead as he wanted to continue to explore okay well hey there's my answer right there great so this is uh, a sequel to the 19 I think it's 87 uh, let me see Predator yeah 1987 um yeah, guys, um, that looked damn good. And uh, that's right on my alley right there, that type of movie. The Predator movie with uh, with uh, Adrian Brody, is was that his name? Uh, and the, the Rodriguez guy, the gentleman, the Rodriguez gentleman, uh, that came out um, a few, I think around 2009, 2010. Let me see real quick. Yeah, Pre Predators, 2010. Yeah, Adrian Brody, Lawrence Fishburne. That more, it was okay. It wasn't bad, uh, but it wasn't just like freaking amazing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I did enjoy the samurai. Uh, uh, was he? I think he was a uh, samurai. Was he a samurai then? He wasn't a ninja. But they had a fight where it was a predator. He put out his sword, and this Japanese uh, fella or gentleman or uh, I don't, I don't, I can't even remember if he was Japanese. He was Asian. Um, I, I'll say that at least. And it was just a badass one-on-one -on -one fight or whatever. You know, it had some cool elements in the movie. I remember Adrian Brody didn't do a good job. What am I doing? What, what am I What am I trying to look for? I'm just pulling up uh, tabs for no reason. Uh, man, I forgot. I lost my train of thought. What was I, what was I finna look up? It was important. Uh, hold on. Let me go back. Uh, oh, well, okay. That's what I was going to do. I was going to see how much money it made. Uh, be, you know, to... Yeah, that's what I... <laughs> Uh, okay, Predators. Let's see here. I'm on um, Box Office Mojo. Uh, $40 million. And it made $127 million worldwide. So, okay, it made bread. I mean, it didn't make a buku amount of money, but it was uh, profitable. Um, and, unless they just did something stupid with the marketing budget. I got my phone. I'm pulling on my calculator right now because yeah, it made more than three times the budget. You know, forty times uh, four times three is twelve. So forty that's one hundred twenty million. Yeah, so I don't need even need to pull it out. But um, yeah, so I I, I mean, what what was a uh, what was it on Rotten Tomatoes? Did everybody hate the film? I mean, I don't know. That's a let's go here to Predators real quick on Rotten Tomatoes. Not that, you know, Rotten Tomatoes is just the, the tell-all, be-all, but uh, I, I just want at least something to gauge it with. Okay, 65%, 51% uh, audience score, you know, that that's fair, I guess. Uh, but this trailer here, The Predator, looks good. I got the mic all uh, twisted. It looks good, and I can't wait to see it. Um, but guys, that is just my opinion for the Predator trailer. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? 
Um, did I turn you on? Did I turn you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. If you don't, that's fine. But you can still uh, subscribe to my channel. You can also look me up on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all that good stuff. It's right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it easy by providing a link to all that down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review slash reaction for the Predator's Trailer. Excuse me, the Predator Trailer. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Kedavery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.